Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 23 of Let's Platinum God of War. Alright, let's open up this, uh, the Odinar Shrine. Another one here. Hmm, this giant's a sorceress. Her name is Groa. Looks like she had visions. Did Odin kill her for her book? More than myth. Alright, let's read this one. Um... Oh, that's just the, like, making progress on that 4 out of 11. That's what we wanted, lore added. A giant sorceress and a powerful seer slain by Odin. Did he steal her book of visions? Hmm, that sounds probably true, considering that Odin is the all-father, the all-knowing and all that, but maybe he got his power from someone else. I'm, I'm just, I'm genuinely guessing that I don't know enough about it to say whether that's true or not, but it sounds right. We're inside. Alright, we got areas again. Of course. Alright, few enemies to defeat here. Not too difficult, but we especially now that we're level three. This is a summoner. Boom. Off you go. Okay, that's fine. Stay down. Is that enough? Not quite. Oh, damn. I didn't realize he was that close. So when he does that, you can actually prevent him from summoning by uh, throwing the axe at him. And now he's just stuck. <laughs> May as well. I know I'm cleaving a lot, but it's worth it to build up that... um. Uh, that goal, or labor, I guess you could say. All right, beast tree updated. Dark elf summoner. This one is able to call in reinforcements, so we should take him down quickly. It should be easy to spot thanks to the bright glow in their wings. I wonder how many dark elves there are in our farm. So yeah, they're a little bit easier to see, but I still feel like the dark elves look very similar um, all the way through. All right, this one's pretty simple. Just stand right here, look up, chop, 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 and all you get is this chest, but it's something. Another soft steel. Any hack silver? Nope. Just another soft steel. Alright, here we go. Now we have to fight um, these guys. These are gloom nightmares. They're actually kind of annoying, so I'm gonna try and like throw the axe at them. Like, that didn't even kill it. Alright, nice. So, the thing that makes them annoying is that they can explode, as you can see. Oh god, behind me. Don't even know if he hit me there, because. Come on, ah. Uh, yes. Oh, I pressed R3 at exactly the right time. <laughs> oh, that was good. Nice. Ah. Oh my goodness, there's so many gloom nightmares. This guy is getting trashed. <laughs> I don't even know what happened there. No, I could have possibly pinned him to the wall. Okay, there was some rage there, but I was already full. But that's okay, I wasn't just going to leave it behind. Uh, Dark Elf Warrior. Uh, we got... They are much easier to kill when grounded. Tripping them up seems to work pretty well. Okay. So I guess maybe, like, doing that. So you can knock them... Their, knock their feet out in front of them. Exploding... Oh, yeah, not Gloom, sorry. Exploding Nightmare. My, my bad, I said that wrong. Uh, do we have Gloom Nightmares, or is that... Yeah, Gloom Nightmares. These Nightmares can blind us for a little bit, just when I thought Nightmares couldn't get any worse. Uh, yes, sorry, exploding. These Nightmares like to swarm in close and then explode. Why do they sacrifice themselves like this? Maybe they are all part of some kind of hive mind. Whatever the reason, it's really annoying. It is really annoying. They're kind of difficult to hit because you got to be fairly quick. Um, okay, I think that's it. Oh, no, no, there was one. Yeah, I almost Whoa. missed this one. Wait, don't talk about what's over there yet. <laughs> Need to click this. Okay, now you can talk about... What is this? Like, what are we looking at? I don't know. There's a lot of stuff there. Um, let's have Atreus read this. Read it. Yes, sir. Read it, boy. From darkness, keep safe the light. 
didn't do a very good job, did they? Hmm. Okay, uh, we can drop that. I just realized something. Why are we able to climb up over there? That's... Yeah, wait, why is that there? I'm actually really confused by that, because I don't think you can get up there. But there's... Is that just something left over that they forgot to take out? How strange. Because I don't see... I don't even see, like, any area you could... Like, maybe there? Hmm. And are you climbing up or climbing down? Yeah, that must be just something left over in terms of... These little things here, like, you can... You're supposed to be able to climb on those. Very strange. Alright, there is a treasure chest here. And there's a tendril over there. However, there's another one on the other side. So what we need to do is we need to actually jump over here. Jump again. And go over to the right. And then just position yourself here. Chop both. Get our axe back. Go back. Go back. And this time... We will be rewarded with the next piece of the runic set, which will be the waist, I'm pretty sure. Yes, the waist piece. Runic war belt. Common waist armor, basic offensive armor favoring runic. And an extra soft steel. That's good. Uh, okay, I think that's it. That's all we can do. I'll top over again. really hope there's nothing I'm missing there. I'm pretty confident that that's just something like left over from the development that we've got to take out. Okay, cool. And now let's climb up. Where did... Wait, what? Where did you go? Okay, that was weird. <laughs> okay, because I know you can jump to, to this side. Like, this is where you have to go. And then the game... So you can't, you can't go up, you can only jump back. You can't go down, so yeah. I mean, I don't see any other way to get there. Alright, now we have sort of a mini cutscene. There, the light. They've covered it up with that stuff. How would they do that? Look, another light off. What's he doing? Oh no! Why are they killing him? He didn't do anything. Do not assume. You are seeing the end of a war, boy. You do not know what led to this moment. But he didn't even defend himself. That was his choice. We make ours. Alright. Now choice is to fight. Oh, well. Unless you go straight through the enemy. Nice. God, I love that tactic. Ever since I figured that out, I'm just like... This is the best thing ever. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh. That was good. Oh god. Yeah, I got the talisman to activate once. Okay, probably gonna rage mode right now because I'm taking a lot of damage. <laughs> I don't want to give up my talisman activations. Come here. Nice. Spin. <laughs> nice. Alright, that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Almost died, but I did manage to get a few talisman activations in there. Look for a way inside. Okay, we've got another tip. Uh, dark elf, elf Summoner. When he spins his weapon, it means he's about to call in more more Dark Elves. We should stop him before he slams it into the ground. Just gonna go here, get rid of that. And I also want to check how many I got to. Three? Excuse me, three more. Uh, okay, there's this. So make sure to get that. And I think there's one more thing, isn't there? I think there's a chest over here. No? Must be on the next part. Let me just make sure. So I wrote down. Um, 
I went too far. Hang on one sec. Sorry, guys. Um, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Da -da -da. Okay. I, th I think I think that's it. I couldn't exactly find where it was, but I'm pretty sure that's it. You just need to destroy that. I think the chest that I'm thinking of is in the next area. So hopefully I don't miss it. All right. Let's. Uh, so. If you don't throw your axe like I do, it'll take forever to remove that stuff. That did it! Look! More light bridges! Follow me. Okay, let's go across here. We've got another bunch of uh, exploding nightmares here. So I like to try and stay back. Throw the axe at them from afar if I can aim. Pretty good. They're actually a little too far away from to um to recognize that I'm attacking them. Why did that not deal as much damage as I wanted it to? Nice. I'm surprised at how many times my perks are activating because I like I've literally only got. Eight luck, and I'm pretty sure everything that's activating is like. Hang on, let's see. Moderate. Moderate. Ah, oh, I guess they're both moderate. I thought they were low. Okay, that's good then. That makes more sense. Okay. Um, as soon as they start charging us, just one hit to their body will blow them up. The explosion hurts other enemies too. Could be useful when fighting a big group. So that's good to know. Um. Must be on the other side. Alright, we got some more. Oh god, okay. He's summoning, so we're gonna stop him because he was spinning his uh glaive, I think it's called. Hiya! <laughs> One more. Yes. Oh, beautiful. I got I got to cleave and finish him off with a grab. Oh god, that sucks. That, like blinded me essentially, couldn't see his health for a while. Ah uh, yes, yeah, so you can also uh, parry that weird thing that he like shoots to blind you with. It's just your timing has to be pretty good. More? Okay, we're good. What is that? Oh, Atreus, I thought you were... Uh, like a pot that I could smash. <laughs> okay, we got... Um, he can block axe throws, but if we catch him off guard, Father's heavy axe throw will freeze him and negate his speed. So I guess this... Okay, another tip. Uh, if, you, if they get too close to us, they'll explode. We need to hit them at range. Yep, cool. So good tips to know. Alright, let's, uh, let's go through this one. Restoring all the pathways. <laughs> well, what about you? You're here too. Um, all right, let's run up here. Got a few health things, or at least one health thing. Health stones. I, I really like the way they design the health stones. You can use them to stun enemies as well, and it's so like Kratos of him to like step on them or Kratos. I know a lot of people have been commenting about his uh, the pronunciation. I just say Kratos. His, his name. Is spelled K R A T O S, so my natural in instinct is to pronounce it Kratos, not Kratos, because there's no Y. But that's okay. All right, this area is interesting. Um, basically, there are nine tendrils total, and you just have to find a position to stand in to destroy uh, three at a time, which can be a little tricky. But once you get the first one, the rest sort of just fall into place. So let's do that. Okay, that's it. I don't know why he says ah. Oh, I'm guessing. He doesn't then follow up by saying that puzzle was too easy, but that's the that's kind of like the feeling I get when he says, "Oh, okay, nothing else in this area, so let's keep keep going." This part's kind of cool, actually. I don't think we're supposed to be in here. Quiet.
there's a conversation that's about to happen that's going to get sort of um, stopped. So I'm going to try and let it happen before before it gets stopped. Did you hear that? Stay alert and by my side. Let me climb. <laughs> Hey, when we make it to the light, how do you think we get it into the Bifrost? The witch said to step into it. She did? When she was ripped away from this realm. Oh, how'd I miss that? You are more concerned with her safety than our goal. Is that a bad thing? If one prevents the other. I like that line. Very clever. Here we go. Quiet! <laughs> I have him. You're knife boy. I feel like when he pushes him back in, like that's from a movie or something like that. That was close. But oh no, I think I know what I'm thinking of. <laughs> from me, boy. You don't gotta tell me. If anyone knows, um, I've mentioned it before because it's pretty much my favorite show of all time. But there's a scene in 24 where Jack Bauer, he's kind of like crouched behind a box. I actually don't remember what season this is, despite how well I know the show. He's crouched behind a box and there's this bad guy that's like running towards him and he doesn't know that he's coming. He surprises the bad guy like out of nowhere, like gives him a few punches, pushes him against the wall, stabs him like a couple of times and then turns his back to him and kind of like uses him... Like, so the bad guy is like propped up against the wall dead and Jack is holding him with his body while like trying to stay away from some more other bad guys. And then when they're gone, he just steps away and the, and the guy just slumps and falls on, falls down. <laughs> I think that's what I'm thinking of, but I might be thinking of something else. Another one. Stay back. The light. Yes, we are near our goal, but we must be careful. Understand? God. Okay, there's nothing else we can do here except climb. So let's do that. There. When it falls, be ready. We will need to move quickly. Okay. I'm going to do one quick thing. I'm actually going to change Hell's Touch here to Fury of the Ice Troll. Um, it's just going to be a little bit more useful for this upcoming area. You don't really need it, but it's going to be a little bit more useful. I'll demonstrate some of that. So hitting it once doesn't do anything. Like, you have to hit it uh, basically four times. You also can't throw your axe at that moment. It doesn't let you. Jump, boy! Right! Uh, Here they come! Stay behind me and protect our flank! Yes, sir! Okay, Fury of the Ice Troll. Run! There's so many! Keep shooting, boy! I will clear our path! Shorten the time between your volleys. There are many targets. You will not miss. A narrow path negates superior numbers. Stay focused. Are you injured? I'm fine. Wow. It's beautiful.
The light. It's making the whole temple reappear. It's the source of all of it. Wait, it's, it's singing. I hear, I hear her. I told you I heard her. Do you think she's in there? Ah, ah. Ugh, that really hurt. I felt like my hand was on fire. Stay here. But I want Stay. to go. Yeah. Only use it as a last resort. You're giving me your axe? I'm letting you hold my axe. It is not a gift. Still. Okay, we're going to stop here just because we're pretty much at 20 minutes. Um, that was a really cool segment. Um, I love the conversation between Kratos and Atreus where he's like, shorten the time between your volleys. What happened to accuracy over speed? Um, there are many targets you will not miss. And it's like, it's him learning, you know what I mean? Like Atreus is saying like, hey, you told me this thing before. Why are you changing your mind? It's like, hey, look, the situation is different now. Um, what I told you before was true. And what I'm telling you now is true. Like, listen to me. This is this is correct. And then also where a narrow path negates superior numbers. That was awesome as well. So it was a really, really cool moment. I, I really enjoy that part. It's it's such a short section. And it takes like a minute, but it's so good. Um, this cinematic will continue next time. And uh, yeah, we have to, well, press or tap or hold circle, depending on how you have your uh, accessibility settings here on the top set. I like to hold it. Uh, but yeah, really, really cool. So we'll continue next time. We'll see what happens. For now, I want to thank you all for watching episode 23 of Last Platinum God of War. My name's Ultima456. You're the Ultimates. And I'll see you next time.